good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. We just filled her up here a little bit. We just wanted to get uh, like 50 gallons so that way we can definitely make our home. So that's what we just did here, and now we're ready to hit the road. So if you are, that's coming right along with the Truck of Rudy show. And let's have yourself a fantastic day together. So leave me a comment in the comment section below on what you liked about today's video, and we will be happy to respond to you. So we'll see you there. And let's get this show rolling. <laughs> Hey guys, we are here now in uh, Staymark in Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah, we got us four hours and 45 minutes behind us already in the books. So I said that's time for taking a little break here and going stretch our legs a little bit, go for a little walk, and probably go in there, have us some awesome breakfast. Give me a good cup of coffee and all that good stuff. And then we'll make our way towards the border. Yeah. All right, guys, it is time for breakfast. So let's take a look. That is a massive breakfast. I didn't think it was going to be that big, but hey, it is. So let's see if we can finish it. <laughs> I'm hungry. We got us a good cup of coffee. So let's eat. It is time to leave Fargo. Yeah, here we go. Now we're gonna be putting the hammer down and getting down to the bow there. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I think we got about two hours and 15 minutes to the border, so we got nine o'clock, quarter to nine right now. So that'll be nine, so 10, 11 o'clock. We should probably be in. Uh, Emerson, uh, Manitoba. Yeah. And yeah, then we'll be uh, in Manitoba. That's right. Cross the border if they let us. Well, I don't see any problem. Why not, right? But yeah. Well, there is a penner that's up pretty early. He must have last. He must have left last night probably went down to Grand Forks or something like that in order for him to be down here already that's pretty early but yeah that's what the plan is but we gotta drop this load in Winnipeg terminal but we got us a little bit to go yeah we got 233 miles to go until we are in Winnipeg at our terminal and we'll drop this load and see if they give us anything to come home on with that but if not we'll just walk till home it's only an hour home so it will be home this afternoon it says right now at one o'clock in the afternoon we should be in Winnipeg so yeah that's not bad not bad timing at all we can get home right away usually it takes us about 15 minutes or so to drop the trailer and bring the paperwork over to dispatch and all of that so by about quarter after one I could be heading out of town going to home sweet home I could be home about 2 30 in the afternoon if everything goes according to plan Excuse me. And some of you might be wondering, did he finish that whole plate of food? No, we did not. We were not able to finish that whole thing. That's surprisingly big. You, you, you don't get that very often anymore at restaurants where you get a big meal like that. That was just like a regular order. There was nothing extra ordered. That was a regular order. <laughs> That was a big meal, and it was only 12 bucks for something with coffee and everything. So I ain't gonna complain about that. 
That was a pretty good meal. I'm more than full. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had good coffee. Now we're good to go, right? At least that's what I think. And as it looks like, we will be getting nice sunshine again today. I don't see a cloud in the sky anywhere. You can look around and nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's absolutely nice. You want to enjoy the few days of nice sunshine and warmer temperatures. And at least won't have any snow for at least a few days, right? But it is November now, so... Uh, it can start snowing anytime now, but usually around middle of November is when it starts sticking around. Sticking around. That's when it starts sticking to the ground, and then uh, before you know it, we'll have a foot of snow on the ground. Yeah, them days are coming. But I tell you what, for those of you that are new to us, we will still be barbecuing <laughs> no matter us how much snow or how cold it is that's right we do still barbecue regardless of the temperature that's right so let's make our way down the road and see what else we will be able to show you I mean pretty much flat land over here so nothing really interesting Hopefully we can make it entertaining enough for you guys to enjoy the show. Welcome to Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen. In we have just crossed the border. Lord Selkirk Highway, yes, Highway indeed. 75. And the good thing is you can actually see the scale lights just as you leave the booth there from, from the border. You can usually see if the lights are flashing. Remember a few weeks ago we got shit for our headlights there? Well, I took them covers off again as soon as I got home, right? So I put her over there on the shoulder and I put them covers back on. So we ain't gonna get shit today. <laughs> yeah, this DOT up here, he likes to give everybody shit for everything, I think. So, so we're gonna make sure that that ain't gonna happen no more. Every time I see and I think about it, I'm gonna put them covers back on. And then we'll go across the scale there. I don't care if they can see me stop there. And not only that, also dispatch sent me a message asking me when I would be in Winnipeg. And I said, well, I'll be in Winnipeg in about two hours. Or a little less than two hours, but I told him two hours, you know, because I want to make sure I don't tell him, you know, before I actually get there, you know. And so they sent me a message back there saying they would like me to go deliver the slow. That kind of sucks. I was hoping I could just drop it at the terminal, but... Oh, well, I guess we'll have to go ahead and drop the load. I mean, uh, deliver the... Slide drive. Deliver the load. We'll go try anyway. Station ahead. See if they'll take me. But, that's all right, I guess. I'll just waste more time, I guess, but... Oh, well. Anyways, we'll go over the scale here and see if they got anything to say meters, today to right me. On, Fifth Street West. See if that picky DUT is going to be in there today. Let's go find out. I'm kind of curious to see what he will tell me. If he found anything today that he can complain about. <laughs> I bet you he's going to want to complain about something else if that guy is in there. Way station ahead. I know, RJ, we're already here at the skill. You don't need to tell us any more. Let's see, let's make sure we stop before we pull onto the skill. Otherwise, you'll give me shit for that, right? In 300 meters, go. swipe left on King Street, and then make a U-turn if possible. In 50 meters. No, I don't see him in there today. Yeah, so far, so good. I guess that DOT is not in today. We'll see. So far it says next. There we go. I guess they got nothing to say today. All right, well, 
I guess that DOT is not in there today. <laughs> oh well. Here we go. So let's get back on the road and in 200 meters, get out of here. Right left on King Street, and then make a U-turn. Before they change their mind, right? Meters. That's right. So let's go find out and see if we can actually deliver this load. It would be kind of nice if I could, but. We'll find out. I might have to pull over there in Morris or something like that. Give the customer a call and see what they say. See what they say. I am now in the new area in Winnipeg. Well, I don't know if it's really a new area, but this is a new road, the 190 here that they built here. It used to be Saskatchewan down here, and now they have made it into a brand new road. and. And uh, now it's like the 190 or something like that. I gotta go into a new area up here and try and find the place that I'm supposed to go to. Yeah, so let's see if we can find it. I'm kind of using the uh, Google map there as well, so that way we can kind of find it, hopefully, a little bit better. I phoned the customer and First they didn't answer, but they, luckily they gave me a call back, and so we uh, were able to get a hold of them. And so they told me kind of on how to get in here, but uh, we got to keep our eyes on everything and make sure we're actually getting in here the way we're supposed to get in here. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find the place. Yeah, this is all new territory for me. We're supposed to make a left here on Saskatchewan Avenue. This is the old Saskatchewan Avenue, I guess. So we're supposed to go make a left over here. And apparently it's right there behind the airport there. So we'll see if we can manage to find it. Hopefully we can. Yeah. And they said they'll get right to it. They'll get me unloaded really quickly there, so we won't have to wait very long, they said. So keep our fingers crossed that that's actually gonna happen. But anyways, we'll make our way down there and see what happens, I suppose. Hopefully that's gonna be the case. Hopefully they won't screw up my Friday afternoon too much. All right, guys, here we are at the customer. And as you can probably tell, we're right in the dock and we got the red light already. And they said they're going to get unloaded right away. And it feels like they're already driving in. So that is pretty quick. Hey, if it ain't going to take very long, we ain't going to complain about getting the delivery here, right? And we made 30 bucks just delivering it here. So I got to come to Winnipeg anyways, because I was supposed to drop it just down the road from here where our terminal is and so hey you know let's deliver it and go home all right guys we got unloaded within 20 minutes yeah that is awesome news and this is what i wanted to show you guys a little bit of these airplanes right here is a hangar for fedex i guess or somebody anyway so get to see some airplanes really close that is awesome so now we're gonna get back onto the big roads if we can and then we'll uh, make our way home sweet home i already contacted dispatch and they texted me back there on the satellite while i was getting unloaded over there saying to bring back the trailer to steinbach so that's what we're doing Yes, sir, Bob, indeed we are doing that. Uh-huh. So, let's make our way home, sweet home. So we should be home probably about an hour and 15 minutes, give or take. Because it's rough roads up here a little bit. And uh, we got to get... Uh, well, we're basically on the west side of the city, so... Especially going through these lights and everything, it might take us a little bit more than an hour to get home. Usually it would take us an hour from the terminal, which is a little bit further east. So, yeah. Anyways, let's make our way home, sweet home! I'm happy it didn't take very long. I mean, 20 minutes out of my day and I made 30 bucks on that 20 minutes. Hey, nothing wrong with that, right? I had to go to Winnipeg anyways, I would have had to drop the trailer and I wouldn't have gotten anything for that. 
even if I have to do a trailer switch and bring the trailer home, I only get the miles uh, paid to go home. I don't get paid for doing a trailer switch. So, hey, I made money. I made me 30 bucks today. So, yeah. We can go have us a nice supper somewhere. In 300 meters. Or something at least. Down. All right, guys, as you can probably tell, we are back at home, sweet home. And I wanted to show you guys this work that my friend Barry did here. He's all done with this side already. Look at that. He's already put them drain pipe right there. He done this whole side and he put the drain pipe right down there as well. So all of that is done with. Yes, indeed it is. I would say it looks pretty good. He's not done all the sides yet. I mean, that side alongside the house needs to be done yet. And this is how he drained it over here. So it goes in this way. We used to have it just drain right there and that was never really a good idea it always seemed to uh, get a little bit on the driveway there and then in the winter time it freezes and stuff and we'd always get a little ice there on the driveway so as you guys can probably tell this side the uh, soffits uh, whatever you call them they haven't been put in yet so but that's okay anyways i wanted to show you that a little bit well guys it is supper time Look at that. We cooked this a stew outside on the fire. Yeah, we still cook stuff outside. Oh yeah. It almost never gets too cold for us. Hey, Mr. Scott, I'm having something for you. Mm-hmm. I have one for you. One for me. Look at this. Uh-huh. One piece is for you and one is for me. Wife cooked a nice cake. Uh-huh. Yeah? You having fun too? Yeah? You were outside with us too, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, we're enjoying supper. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. 